The images that you're seeing being displayed behind me are from the personal collection of the late George Jacobs. Mr. Jacobs holds a unique position in the history of our valley. For 15 years, he was the personal valet to Mr. Frank Sinatra. I recently had the opportunity to speak with the son of George Jacobs, desert artist Snake Jagger, who spoke of his father's time with Mr. S, as well as some of his own personal childhood experiences with various members of the Rat Pack. He lived with him and uh, traveled with him all over the world and uh, did anything that needed to be done. Snake Jagger reminisces about his father, George Jacobs, who, from 1953 to 1968, was the personal valet to Frank Sinatra. I can remember times coming to visit the Sinatra compound when we were younger, and uh, we would stay in the bungalows uh, on the property. Um, we would watch the Tony Rome movies in his private theater. Uh, I remember meeting Mia Farrow there when he was married to her. George Jacobs was the friend, confidant, traveling companion, and live-in cook to Mr. Sinatra at both his Palm Springs and Bel Air residences. Snake recalls the generosity of his father's employer, specifically in Bel Air around Christmas time. I remember Mr. Sinatra coming down the the stairway, it has kind of a curved stairway, and, and he was walking down in his, I think he was wearing a robe at the time, and he came down to talk to us. And we were, of course, awestruck. This is Frank Sinatra, you know. And, I, and at the time, there was a golf bag uh, right close to us, and it was filled to the top with silver dollars, filled. And I remember that's something that stuck in my mind. He grabbed a handful and gave that to each one of uh, me and my brothers. And we were just, you know, ecstatic about that. So it was a one time when he took my brother and, and me to the toy store. He told my dad, George, I'm taking your kids. And we got into this little car, this funny little car, and drove into Cathedral City. And he took us to a toy store. And uh, we were walking around and he said to get anything we wanted, you know, and we were a little shy about that. Uh, remember my brother saw a, one of those slot cars, it was the thing that goes around on tracks, and we were looking at it, we were both uh, enjoying that, and, and he said, uh, we looked at the price, he goes, oh, it's $13. And Mr. Sinatra was in the other aisle, and when he heard my brother say that, he said out loud, buy it. And everyone in the store laughed. I mean, there were a few other people and they all heard him and they laughed. And, and it's the type of person, he was very generous. And so he had us buying what we, what we wanted. I think I bought a BB gun, a rifle. And of course, uh, shooting that around the compound. I learned later that uh, I had caused a couple of little BB holes in the windows in some of the little uh, bungalows. My father got kind of got balled out about that. And Snake has some memories of other members of the Rat Pack as well. There was another time where we flew up to uh, Lake Tahoe in Sinatra's private jet and we went to the Calneva Lodge. Vic Damone was playing there and uh, my brother and I were taking swimming lessons in the pool. We met Lucille Ball there as well. Uh, I got an earache from the swimming and I was kind of feeling pretty miserable. And uh, at one point we took a little walk down to a, a, little, a, a little room or bungalow-like place that was uh, where Sinatra was with Dean Martin and I think Sammy Davis Jr. was there. And um, we walked in and my mother explained to uh, the group that I'm not feeling very well, that I've got a bad earache. And so Dean Martin chimes in and he said, oh, I know how to fix that. And uh, of course I was all ear. And uh, he said, just put your head over to the side, put some ice and some scotch in it, and then shake it like that, you know. And so everybody laughed, except for me, because that wasn't helping me any. 
Sadly, George Jacobs' association with the Sinatra family would come to an end, largely due to the typed words of a once popular gossip columnist. He loved Mr. Sinatra. He uh, was devastated when he was let go because of a story by Rona Barrett that um, Mia Farrow and my dad were dancing in a nightclub in, in Hollywood somewhere and um, got back to Mr. Sinatra. And I think the next day, my dad got a, um, a letter from the lawyer saying he was terminated. It broke his heart and he, he never quite recovered from that, you know, as far as his feelings towards Mr. Sinatra, he always loved the man, you know. He had published his memoir, Mr. S, My Life with Frank Sinatra, five years after Sinatra's death. George Jacobs passed away on December 28, 2013, from natural causes. For Our Desert Past, Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs.